It's 4 p.m. in Tallahassee, Florida. It's 2 p.m. in Wheatland, Wyoming, where they rejected pro-Democrat Liz Cheney. Speaking of the Democrats, uh, are they good at the economy? No. Are they good with inflation and gas prices? Nope. Are they good with law and order? Uh-uh. Are they good on crime? That's a resounding no. So what are Democrats good for? They're telling you right now, and we're going to tell you too. Without fear or favor, the Chris Salcedo Show starts right now. Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and happy Friday. Welcome to the Chris Salcedo Show on Newsmax. You know, I've often wondered how in America last, foreigners first, morally bankrupt, deep, deeply corrupt, plastic banana, anti-Semitic, racist, and treacherous political party continues to get votes. In fact, I can only think of one thing the Democrat Party is good at, and they're campaigning on it right now. The one thing Democrats are good at, that's our focus in tonight's preamble. After instituting policies that have led to historically high gas prices, an ongoing supply chain crisis, runaway inflation, a recession, rampant crime, waves of illegal aliens, politicizing of medicine, and suppression of equal treatment under the law, the Democrats, through their compromised leader, are campaigning on the only thing they offer America, abortion on demand and perversion in GovEd. In a move that is evil, not to mention likely illegal, Joe Biden's regime, through the Pentagon, will provide travel funds and support for troops and their dependents who seek abortions if they're based in states where the slaughter of children in the womb is now illegal or restricted. You heard that correctly. Rather than protecting Americans' lives, the Pentagon, under left-wing extremist rule, will now focus on wanton killing of American babies in the womb. Americans will be shocked to learn that our tax money that should be dedicated to protecting our nation and keeping our Constitution in force will now be used for such moral depravity. Indeed, the Hyde Amendment prohibits the taxpayer dollars from being allocated in any way in the support of abortion. This move by Joe Biden's regime will likely be challenged in court and thrown out. But this is just one of the ways Democrats will use and abuse our system to show their left-wing base that they are doing all they can, even breaking U.S. law, to ensure that the annihilation of the next generation continues. I've said repeatedly that this country can... Their economic policies alone have caused immense damage to the bottom lines of Americans. And because Americans can no longer afford to start families under Democrat rule, that's why Democrats are pushing for universal abortion on demand. But let's be clear. Having children is why you're worried about your price for gas. It's why you're concerned about how much food costs. For women, this is not a reductive issue. You can't divorce being forced to carry an unwanted pregnancy from the economic realities of having a child. Okay, think about that for a moment. Democrat Stacey Abrams thinks that is a small and needed price to pay just so we can afford to keep Democrats in power forever. Because Democrats deserve to rule. Just ask them, they're going to tell you. Feeling they are entitled to power, L.A. City Councilman Kevin DeLeon and Gil Cedillo, both refusing to step down, even after they were caught on tape uttering racist comments. Now, would a Republican still be in office if he or she had done the same? As you all know, Democrat parents have been undertaking what many deem as child abuse. These parents, in air quotes have been exposing their kids to transvestite men dressed in scantily clad outfits, as those same men dressed as women promote sexual promiscuity through music and their conduct during such events. This is how Democrats prove how woke they are by sacrificing the innocence of their children on the altar of sexual depravity. Democrats have also been leading the charge in favor of gender confusion and driving a wedge between parents and their children through GovEd. One of the most accurate polling services in America, the Trafalgar Group, has discovered that nearly 80% of Americans reject allowing children to make life-changing decisions about their sex transition surgeries. In one of two exclusive stories, Daily Caller journalist and Newsmax contributor Chrissy Clark is exposing how a Pennsylvania GovEd middle school is telling teachers to use students' preferred names and pronouns and hide the fact from their parents. So I think we have our answer here, folks. 
there is one thing Democrats are good at, and that's the annihilation or the corruption of the next generation. Now, if that's your thing, a vote for a Democrat is, is probably good for you. If it's not, if you love your children more than you do your woke status, perhaps you vote another way. And for those of you who have a soul and a conscience, there is some good news in that regard. Our very own John Gizzi is reporting on analysis by pollsters or of pollsters. Now, you've all likely heard the polls show Americans are rejecting the party that is targeting our kids, the Democrats. The good news, it's even worse for Democrats than we've been led to believe. That's because corrupt pollsters out there use their polls to shape public opinion rather than reflect it. The analysis shows that Democrats are doing four to five points worse than polls suggest. A positive note to take into the weekend. 